What's going on guys, I'm the Walrus Jedi, and in today's video, I've got something a little different. Uh, I will be talking about the 10 deleted scenes that should have been in the Star Wars movies. I will be only considering, for this video, uh, just scenes from Episode 1, you know, Phantom Menace, to Episode 6, The Return of the Jedi. The Disney Star Wars movies... They'll get their own video later on. Uh, if you like this video, please consider liking and subscribing for more Star Wars videos like this. Thank you. And now, on to the list. Number 10. First up is a scene from A New Hope. The scene in question is Luke at Toshi Station. Now, the whole scene is about six minutes long. So, if... It were to be added, I think it should be slimmed down a little bit. Just keep the stuff where he's talking to Biggs and you establish Biggs as a as his best friend. Um, I think that's all that you really need to do for that one. Number nine. Next is a scene from Empire Strikes Back. Uh, it, this is actually a few scenes. Uh, it, of Wampa attacking Echo Base throughout, you know, various scenes. This adds a bit of danger from the local fauna on Hoth, more so than just the little encounter with Luke. And this gives some credence to the mode in Star Wars Battlefront, the 2005 game, where you can play Wampas attacking Echo Base. So that that's that's fun. Number eight, in this spot is the battle on the boarding ramp from The Phantom Menace. This scene offers more Darth Maul versus Qui-Gon Jinn action, which is good. It, it basically expands that first fight on Tatooine. Um, I know it isn't completely finished, but again, this is assuming that they would take the time and money to polish it off and then put it in, you know... This is just for fun, really. You know, it's a nice, good piece of action, and, you know, it gives Darth Maul more screen time. So, you know, he was he was underused in the movie. Number seven. Next is a scene in Attack of the Clones. In this scene, Obi-Wan is looking at a bust of Count Dooku, and Jocasta Nu comes up to him, and her and Obi-Wan, they... they basically discuss Count Dooku and the Lost 20 uh, for a little bit, and then it goes into the, where she asks him about, you know, his issue with Camino and that. I think this scene would give, it, it gives a little more information and background about Dooku, and we get a little tidbit about the Lost 20, which is an interesting premise. Number six. In this spot is a scene from Return of the Jedi. The scene is Jur Jarad. He is uh, conflicted about targeting Endor with the Death Star. Uh, this would have fleshed out Jur Jarad and made him far more interesting as a character. He doesn't do a whole lot really in the movie. You know, it's not a mu it's not must see, but it flesh out this character that it it make him a better character. So. All right, the next five on the list, they're in order. So number one is the most important. Number five, the first scene of the top five is a scene from The Phantom Menace. In this scene, it's after the pod race and Anakin and Greedo have a disagreement. They fight and Qui-Gon Jinn stops it and gives Anakin a lesson in that you can't change people's opinions or thoughts or whatever by brawling with them in the street. Uh, I like this scene and I feel like it's a, an important scene because, you know, it gives more Qui-Gon Jinn screen time, which is always good, but it also it helps show Anakin that, you know, he's not like this angel. He's like, he, you know, he, he has that dark side in him that uh, plus, you know, it shows the lesson. So it, and it kind of shows that um, 
if Qui Gon Jinn hadn't been killed by Darth Maul, uh, Qui Gon Jinn would have, you know, probably still become Anakin's master, and Anakin wouldn't have fell to the dark side. So, number four. Next is a few scenes from Return of the Jedi. In it, uh, we see the crew on the Millennium Falcon throughout the Battle of Endor. Um, this just fleshes out kind of what the Millennium Falcon is doing a little bit more. We, you know, we see various interior shots, uh, various crew, you know, shooting at TIE fighters and things like that. I just think it's a nice expansion of this uh, space battle. And it, I just think it would be fun to see that. Number three. In this spot is a scene from Empire Strikes Back. In the scene, we see Yoda teaching Luke uh, lightsaber fighting and other training scenes. Uh, this would further give Luke more training and help him feel more developed as a character. And it also, you know, would give him a little bit more training with the lightsaber. So he's not so just completely novice at it when he fights Vader later in the movie. Number two, in the penultimate spot is a scene from Attack of the Clones. The scene in question is when Anakin and Padme are en route to Naboo and on the ship. Anakin has a nightmare and uh, it's about his mother being in danger. Then uh, they have a, you know, him and Padme have a brief conversation about his mother. Uh, I feel like this uh, scene helps establish their relationship a little bit more. It gives them more screen time and it just, I think it would help strengthen it, you know, number one. And in the top spot, uh, is a scene from revenge of the Sith. It's really two scenes. Uh, the first is called seeds of rebellion where Padme and Bale and a few other senators discuss petitioning Palpatine to, Step down after the war. And the other scene is an expanded scene where Padme and Anakin discuss Palpatine's changes to the Constitution. These these are really related matters, hence why they're both in the number one spot. Uh, these scenes give Padme more to do. Like, in this movie, there's not really any senator stuff for her to do. Because in the other movies, she's either doing the queen stuff or the senator stuff she's doing. She's not just there to be the love interest. She actually has other things to do. Whereas in Revenge of the Sith, she doesn't really have a lot of senator stuff to do. But this would give her some senator stuff to do. And, uh, you know, they're great scenes. So there's that. Um, well, that's the list. What'd you think? Are there any scenes that uh, should be on the list? And are there any that you feel should not be? Uh, you can let me know in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, thanks for watching.